So this lesson will be a, a little more on percentages. We're also going to talk about the, the top of key a little bit more uh, today as well. There just seems to be a lot with that toggle key. Um, let's start with more toggling. Uh, let's talk about reducing 12 fifteenths. As I said before, you know, you can reduce fractions if you can recognize what the common divisor is. A 12 and a 15 both have a common divisor of 3 in them. So if you wanted to, you could have just divided the top and bottom by 3 and done it on your own. 3 goes into 12 4 times, and 3 goes to 15 5 times, and you can reduce it down to 4 fifths. You also could just let the calculator do the work as well. So if I turn the calculator on, clear it off, hit the N over D button, that gives my, my format, put the 12 in the numerator, down arrow, 15, right arrow to get out underneath there, hit enter, and that'll give me my, my 4 fifths. Also, if you want though, if you hit the toggle button again, it will change it to the decimal. I think we mentioned that before. So four fifths is the same thing as eight tenths. So those are equivalent. Those are interchangeable. So remember that's since that's the tenths place, we would say eight tenths. So four fifths is equivalent to uh, eight tenths. Um, something else we can do is bring to your attention some other things about uh, percentages. Uh, by the way, um, you know, you can change a, a percent to a decimal pretty easily without a calculator. You can just um, remove the percent symbol and then just move the decimal two places to the left and that'll give you uh, your percent to a decimal. For instance, if I have 45%, what I'm going to do is bring down just the 45 and then move the decimal two places to the left. So the decimal's there. One, two, the decimal will be over here. And also, it's not a bad idea to put a zero there for the ones place. It just say 0 0.45. A lot of times, that's what the calculator would do. Now, you can just type in 45% into the calculator, and it would do it for you. So remember, I just type in 45. And remember, percent's a green guy, so we have to hit the second button, and then the percent, hit enter. It'll change it to. Uh, 0.45 as well, but the shortcut is since we're dividing by 100, the shortcut is each time you divide by 10, you lose place value, so you're going to slide the decimal two places to left. We can apply that to percentages. So remove the percent symbol, slide the decimal two places to the left, and that's how you can easily change a, a percent to a decimal without using your calculator. Inversely, nice big math word here, but inversely kind of means going the other direction or backwards, if you will. You can change a decimal by doing just the opposite, reverse everything. So if you would, you can change a percent, you can change a decimal to a percent by moving the decimal two places back to the right and sticking that percent symbol back into the problem. So inversely, I can change 0.15 from a decimal to a percent. Again, this is 15 hundredths. Again, if you pick up on it, 15 hundredths, 15 hundredths, that's, um, that's 15 percent. Or if you want to just pay attention to, hey, that's a decimal, I can just slide the decimal two places to the right, bring down your 15, and then just stick on a percent symbol, and you have your 15%. Again, you can toggle that. There is a, a go green for that as well. So if I want to change a decimal to a percent, we can do that by, again, typing in the decimal, 0 0.15, hit enter, it stays at 0 0.15. But notice right above the 9, there's that close parenthesis, and in green, there is that little arrow percent. And what that means, it'll convert to a percent. So if I hit the second button and hit that convert to a percent button, it'll change it to 15% for me. So your calculator will also be able to change uh, percents to decimals, or it can change decimals back to percents. You can do both of them. So if I had this problem of 12 fifteenths, I could use the hit over D button. I could type the 12 over 15 into the calculator, hit enter. It'll change it to 4 fifths. I can then hit the toggle button and change it to a decimal. If I want to, I can move my decimal two places to the right, 
stick on a percent symbol, that would be 80 percent. Or I can convert to a percent by hitting the green button and convert to a percent and it'll give me 80 percent. So you can actually change it from a fraction, reduced fraction, decimal to then the percent of um, 80 percent. Okay, so I believe that's got it. So we're down to, I think, one more topic on the uh, reference sheet.